Okay, for those of you who have smartphones but do not have data plans, so you can't use Google Maps or other, you know, ways or other turn-by-turn uh, uh, -turn, uh, 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 drive programs on your phones while you're on the road because you're not connected to Wi-Fi, um, here's a way that you can download uh, or various maps on your phone so you can use turn-by-turn -turn directions while you're on the road even though you don't have a data plan on your phone. So the key is using Google Maps. So the first thing we need to do is we need to go out to, this is on the iPhone, so we need to go to the App Store on our iPhone and we need to do a search for Google Maps. And this is the icon for Google Maps in the middle. We need to download that and install that on our phone. Once you install Google Maps on our phone, we can now do this. So next thing we do is we launch Google Maps. And Google Maps by default will default to wherever we are. So Let's, for example, use the waterfall tour in Hamilton. Uh, and we want to use those maps while we're on the road, but we don't have a data plan, so normally we couldn't. So first thing we do is we're going to do a search for something. And let's do Devil's Punch Bowl because that's the first place we're going to go in Hamilton. So let's do a search for Devil's Punch Bowl. Now, we are currently connected to Wi-Fi, so we can do this. And here we are with Devil's Punch Bowl. Now we can pinch and zoom and zoom the map out and here's the Skyway Bridge and the Coots 403 coming around the end and Hamilton, Dundas, Ancaster area um, uh, this is the area we're going to need and there's a search for Devil's Punch Bowl now if you click on the what we call the hamburger button, because it looks like a button with a patty in it, that three bars, that's the menu icon. If we click on that, we have this option on the menu for offline areas. So if we click on offline areas, now we can do custom area. And here we can zoom the map. Now I'm doing this with the phone horizontal because I want a wider map. So here we can zoom the map. And notice on the bottom it says, this download may take up to 250 megabytes, and I have over 13,000 megabytes available. So i got plenty of room on my phone to download this map, so I can do it. And that highlighted area, that's the region of the province that this download is going to include. So now I just click download, because that's going to cover all the stuff in Hamilton that we want. Um, you know, all the maps that we want, we got... Uh, the Stony Creek area and it in this area and we click download and it takes a couple of minutes to download and it's completed downloading. Now notice it says it expires in 29 days. The maps are good for a month. After a month, you should reconnect. If you want to keep the map, you should reconnect to Wi-Fi and re-download the map that refreshes the map data. You can also come in and select the map and delete the map data when you're done with it. So for instance, once we're done the waterfall tour, you could come in here and delete that map data and it wouldn't be tying up space on your phone. So, let's go back to the main map. And I'm going to go back home to where I am. And the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to go to settings. And I'm going to turn on airplane mode. Airplane mode turns off all the radios. So I have no Wi-Fi, uh, no cellular connection, uh, nothing. And you can see down here in airplane mode, I have, and, and from up here as well, I have no Wi-Fi connection, I have no cellular connection, so I have no data. So now, if I go into Google Maps, 
it still finds my home because that's what it remembers. So now if I do a Google search for Devil's Punch Bowl, even though I hit, it's on white, it's on, you can see up here, it's on airplane mode, so I have no Wi-Fi connection, it still found Devil's Punch Bowl. So now one of the next falls we're going to go to is going to be Felker's Falls. So if I now do a search for Felker's, I guess I should clear that out. And learn how to spell. There's Felkers Falls Conservation Area. I've done the search before. So there it's found, Felkers Falls. And if I want to do a search for Albion Falls, There it's found Albion Falls. So let's do a search for uh, the Black Forest Inn because that's what we're meeting for lunch. For lunch, there's the Black Forest Inn in Hamilton. It's downtown Hamilton on King Street. So I want to know how to get there. So I'm going to click on the car down here to get directions, and. It's asking me for my current location, which it's not going to have in the map data. So I'm going to replace that with Felker's Falls. Actually, I should replace it with Albion because that's where we'll be before we go to the Black Forest. So there's my map from Albion Falls to the Black Forest Inn. And there's my directions. Now, because I'm not there, it's not letting me. But normally when I'm there, I, I would have a button that would say go. And I could just say, let's start, let's start. And it would give me turn-by-turn -turn directions for the drive from Albion Falls to, to the Black Forest Inn. So that's how you do offline maps without a data plan on your phone, on your smartphone for getting around turn-by-turn -turn directions.